What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and today I wanted to make a quick video about three reasons why your coffee may taste like shit at home. So let's get right into it. Number one is your water. Water is 99% of coffee guys, so if the water is bad, if you're using shitty tap water that's full of chlorine and God knows what, tastes like garbage, it will affect the taste of your coffee. So what I'm saying, taste. <laughs> what I'm saying is definitely use um, at least even like a Brita filter, something like that's gonna make the world of difference. Uh, getting a lot of that taste out of the coffee and bringing out um, more of the flavors that you're trying to get in the coffee. So. Yeah, guys, number one, control the water you're using. Yes, there is like third wave water. Yes, you could go into like melting salts and make your own water. I understand that for 99% of the population, that's not a thing, you're busy, you have two screaming children, I get it. So, at least use filtered water though, at least. I'm gonna see huge improvement. Number two, guys, number two is if you can grind fresh. Freshly ground coffee is just gonna give off so much more aroma, so much more flavor. Even a cheap grinder, in my opinion, for a simple brew method is better than buying pre-ground coffee. The reason being is coffee has a half-life. It's giving off all these beautiful flavors. It's releasing them into the world. You're not getting them in your cup because you're not grinding fresh. So even if it's a cheap grinder, guys, I'm telling you a cheap grinder is better than no grinder. That is my opinion, you heard it here first. People might argue with me, but a cheap grinder is better than no grinder. So grind up your beans, brew after. It's gonna be so much better, grind fresh. Okay, number three, oh, sorry, number two. Pro tip for number two. If you have kids or roommates or family members you don't wanna wake up in the morning, get a cheap hand grinder. No noise, grind up your beans really quick, little, little arm workout beforehand, and boom, you're good to go. That's what I'd suggest. Okay, number three, sorry. Number three is your coffee sucks, guys. So listen, I have seen this happen before where, um, you know, someone is, is, a, is at a place where they have coffee already there and they're like, okay, how do I make this better? And they're doing all the things right. Maybe they're grinding fresh, they're weighing it, water temperatures, da, 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 everything, all these variables are coming together. And all they're doing is they're making bad coffee really well. So no matter how good your technique is, if the coffee's bad, it's gonna be bad. So you're just doing a perfect technique on a bad product. So guys, always remember, always remember that if you're not using good coffee, it doesn't matter about the technique. It does matter because you're gonna make it as good as it possibly could be, but it's still gonna suck. You're just extracting all the shitty flavors from the coffee perfectly. So guys, use good coffee. It doesn't even have to be our coffee. There's, there's plenty of fantastic Canadian roasters out there that need your support to make sure our coffee landscape, landscape stays cool. So guys, support your local caffeine dealer. Buy from local Canadian roasters. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them that are awesome. So check it out, find one that you like, and support them, guys. So anyways, that's my quick three tip on how to make sure your coffee doesn't taste like shit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.